Aries, welcome back to my channel. Um, and this is a week ahead reading for the sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. The first message that we have here is, I was testing you. Wow, so I'm actually picking up two messages with this card. The first one is this. Um, when you came in contact with your person here, I'm getting that your person was actually manifesting you before this. I'm picking up on your person unconsciously, okay, or subconsciously manifesting you, manifesting this type of connection, just manifesting um, a higher vibrational love in their life here. I feel like there was a lot of differences between what they were experiencing and what they actually wanted. And when you came along the, their journey here, I'm seeing that your person was testing you to see if you were actually the person that they had been praying for. The other message that I'm picking up here is that while your person thought that they were testing you, your person was actually being tested by God to see if they were actually ready for what they had been manifesting. It's almost as if you asked for something, right? You asked for a better job. You asked for a bigger house. You asked for um, a better relationship. You asked for the best of the best. And you get presented with this thing. And then you start second guessing and you start questioning, well, am I good enough for this? Is this what I really want? You know, you start nitpicking at certain things, trying to dissect the very thing that you were just praying for. That's the energy that I'm picking up here. So I'm picking up that your person, as it pertains to a relationship, or as it just pertains to love and connection, there were certain things that just wasn't doing it for them anymore. They wanted someone who was a safe space. They wanted someone who they could feel safe around, who they would be able to um, open up to, have clear communication, someone who was really expressive um, in their emotions and how they felt here. And I'm seeing that you were passing each test that your person was presenting you with here. So it's almost as if every single thing that they asked for was presented to them in you and your person began to put you through like a series of tests here. But I'm also getting that they were actually projecting these tests on you because they were actually the one that was being tested. That may not be for everybody, but that's the energy that I'm picking up here. Yeah, your person definitely was manifesting you. And it's almost as if a higher power stepped in and said, okay, this is what you want. You keep thinking about this. You keep telling yourself, I want more. This, this is the kind of love that I want. This is the kind of relationship that I want. This is the kind of person that I want. And when you came into their life and certain things would pop up, and let's say, for instance, you get into a conversation and they get triggered you were the type of person who would want to speak through these things. It didn't make you run. It made them run. So it's almost as if they were testing you, but in all actuality, in all actuality, they were actually being tested. And they're realizing now that they failed some of the tests, okay, that they were actually trying to project onto you at that time. The next message that I have here is, I can't hide from you. Yeah, I'm also getting that you challenged your person, okay? I'm feeling that you challenged their emotions, you challenged certain things that they said, okay? When they would tell you something or they would act out, their actions didn't align with with um with their words you actually would challenge a person and they realized that they couldn't really hide their intentions from you so it's almost as if your person had like this this awakening about you where they knew that you were actually what they had been asking for this whole time here your person actually wanted 
a, a place where they can be transparent. It's almost as if their subconscious, you know, is was playing out or presenting them with the things that they have been thinking about because your person actually wanted a person that they didn't have to hide from. And it's so funny that when they actually was presented with this, it kind of frightened them a little bit. It's, it's, it's one of those things where you ask for something, you beg for something, you pray for something, and then you get it, and then you question it. You know, you start to question it. You start to question if you even deserve it. You start to question if it's good enough for you. You know, it's almost as if your person was kind of tricking themselves out of what it is that they actually wanted, which was you. It came in the form of you. So whatever was going on in their life and however they were existing at that time, they were praying for something different. They were praying for a safe space. They were praying for someone with a gentle soul, someone who was non-combative, somebody who was understanding, somebody who was spiritual, somebody who had a higher perspective of life, of love. And when this came, it's almost as if your person I don't want to say rejected it, but it's like they questioned it here. And your person wants you to know like they can't hide from you. You saw that. So if you were challenging them, if you were questioning them on certain things, if you were, you know, holding them accountable about their actions not lining up with what it was that they were saying here. They want you to know that you were right. I'm getting poker face. So some of them even made you feel a little crazy because you were calling them out on this stuff and they were making you feel as if you weren't saying the right thing. And you actually were. The next message we have here is there's so much going on behind the scenes. Yeah, I feel like your person is going through a lot of upgrades spiritually, physically. Um, there's been a lot of shifts in the dynamic just in the world in general here. 2022 is the year of alignment. So things are naturally falling away so that what we actually want can come into our lives here. And I, th I think that is what this reading is centering around. I'm just getting this like kind of alignment theme, kind of old things falling away and you really getting into alignment with what it is that you want here. So I feel like your person may be going through a lot behind the scenes, but I don't feel a heavy energy with this. I actually feel like your person is feeling a sense of relief to be kind of unchained from, from these things that had a hold on them for a very, very long time here. I don't feel as though they are very expressive about this, but I do feel divine feminine that you can pick up on this energy and you can feel like this clearing. You may even pick up on their energy just coming across a little bit of, a little bit lighter, a little bit more expressive, a little bit more free here because they are going through major, major upgrades and major shifts behind the scenes. They may not be in a place where they want to share this with you. I, I keep feeling, I keep hearing complete. So I feel like there's a certain task or there's a certain level of completion that your person wants to reach before they actually open this up to you. They don't want to present anything to you undone at this time. Okay, so that's sticking out to me. But this energy is extremely light. There's a lot going on behind the scenes, but whatever your person is going through, they actually feel free. This is actually a weight being lifted off of their shoulders. They're actually breaking cycles here. Um, and I'm, I'm being brought back to I was testing you. I feel like I feel like God or higher power, okay, was testing your person to see if they were actually ready for what it is that they were manifesting here. Okay, so things are naturally clearing, like the path is being cleared for this here. And your person is, I'm just getting this eager, like your person is extremely exciting and, and willing to clear up this space so that they can actually have what it is that they really wanted. But if you felt as if your person was kind of projecting this energy onto you, like questioning who you were, questioning your intentions here, that was just a projection of God testing them that they were actually, you know, projecting onto you.
the next message we have here is, wow, we have I risk it all for you. Yeah, your person is taking major, major strides behind the scene here, okay? So I feel like I'm honestly getting that your person was feeling like this testy kind of energy towards you because you challenged your person here. Yeah, you really, really challenged them. You challenge them on their energy. You challenge them on their thought forms. You challenge them on their limited beliefs here. And you were the person that made them want to risk everything. I'm seeing that your person, I'm seeing you have no idea, you know, how many shifts your person had to make in order to kind of bring you two together. You may be looking at it as if it's a small task or I'm feeling even emotionally, even within, you know, themselves. They have had to shift so many mindsets and so many thought forms that were put into place and that were just, you know, that they were stuck in for years. They're taking a lot of risk as it pertains to this connection and, and coming towards you at this time. Some of them are risking literally their entire lives. There are things in their lives, people in their lives, places that are not necessarily being stripped away, but they're willing to let these things fall away. I'm hearing that it, it, they were already past the expiration date, but your person was still holding on to them just because they were comfortable. But your person doesn't share these same commonalities with these people, places, and things anymore. It's, it's foreign to them. So I'm getting that your person wants you to know, like, they're risking a lot to have this love for you, to have this love with you and this life with you. The next message we have here, wow, I'm tired of doing this without you, yes. It's almost as if your person has to exist in two places. They have the 3D where they have a, their day-to-day -day life and they have to, you know, deal with the, the mundane things of life. And then they have this otherworldly connection <laughs> with this highly spiritual being that they just feel called to, that they carry in their heart space, that they're always being pulled towards, okay? So it's like your person is like, I am tired of doing life without you. Like, I need you. Like, you are my source. Like, you, you feed your person positive energy so it's like when you come in there when you come in contact with them their energy rises like divine feminine you have no idea how powerful your energy is the things that you say they come into you speak them into fruition your thought forms and your vibration is extremely important within your own life and within this connection because you are like the source of you know, this this higher octave of love. And your person is realizing that having you at a distance from them is not it's no longer serving them. It's no longer beneficial to them. They constantly pull on you, they constantly want you, they constantly need you, they think about you, they want your opinion, they want to do life with you, they don't want to do it separate from you. It's getting harder and harder for them to exist in the 3D with all of these illusions and not have their person with them. You're like their life partner. It goes beyond a relationship. This is a higher, like twin flame love is a higher octave of love. And it's like your person is, is finally getting to the point where they're realizing like, whatever I have to go through, okay? They're realizing that they were being tested. They're realizing that they were being tested. And it's almost as if they were trying to test you to see if you were who you said you were. But it's like God was testing them to see if they were even aware that what they asked for, what they prayed for, subconsciously was right in front of their face. And a lot of them were afraid of this. But they're, they're awakening to the fact that, look, this is where I want it. And I'm going after what it is that I want. Let's get the last message here. Wow. 
you have promised me you won't give up on me. Yeah, I just got the image of a divine masculine like going uphill or like climbing up a mountain. It's like they are trying so hard to get to their peak. And it's like, I can just have the image of the divine feminine like standing up there, like they're trying to get to you. They're trying to become their greatest version, okay? They have finally accepted that, you know, me living this life that I'm living, I don't feel as passionate. I don't feel as motivated. I have a higher calling on my life and the divine feminine is a part of that. So your person doesn't want you to give up on them. Maybe they feel your energy pulling away from them a little bit. For some of you, you've been on this journey for a long time, a very long time, and it's taking your person a little longer than, than you would have liked to come to this realization here, but your person is getting it. There are shifts happening. 2022 is the year of alignment here. It really, really is. Old things are falling away and making room so that newness can come in. And I feel like this reading here is just a confirmation that your person was presented with you because they were actually manifesting you. And it's taken them a while to actually realize, oh, wow, this is what I actually asked for. Some of them feel a little bit bad because they kind of pushed you away. And it's like, they ask for openness. They ask for more intimacy. Intimacy. They ask for more love. They ask for um, solid communication. They ask for a safe space. And they were given that in you. And some of them pushed that away because they were not ready and because they were not healed. But the healing is taking place behind the scenes right now. There is so much that's taking place behind the scenes because whosoever energy this is right here, this divine masculine has awakened. They are under divine intervention right now, okay? A higher power has stepped in and is getting them together, okay? But your person doesn't want you to give up on them. They want you to know that they get it and that they are willing to do whatever it is. They're willing to take whatever risk that they have to take to bring this into alignment here. So that's the message that I have for you all today. If you resonated with this message, be sure to like the video on the way out. Again, if you would like a personal reading, be sure to, to click the link in the description box below. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye. Bye.